Hi guys, welcome to the Southampton career mode. Hope you're going to enjoy this because I certainly am. Uh, this hopefully will be a successful. Um, hopefully this will be a successful season and career at Southampton. Just having a look at the youth talents here. Not too many, but uh, I think these guys, these higher 80 overalls could be doing something. I'm not too sure about this guy, but we'll have to have a look uh, in further depth with them. And uh, I do, I did give them 500 million transfer takeover, so in no way or reason is this realistic. So let's just go from uh, the squad hub here with Southampton. We have Alex McCarthy. We have Angus Gunn on loan at Stoke City. We have Fraser Forster as well at the club. If you're wondering um, where Southampton's other keeper's gone, I released him because I didn't really want him at this club. So he's not there. Um, but we have J Jake Ruckins on loan at Sunderland. We have Thomas O'Connor on loan at Gillingham. We have Sam McQueen there. Um, we have Ryan Bertrand, Jean Benderek, Wesley Hold. Uh, Vestergaard, I'll just go to some of the best players. We have Salisu, um, we have Jack Steffens, we have Carl Walker Peters, we have Valerie on loan at Birmingham City. Disappointing, really, for um, Valerie. Uh, we have uh, Diallo, not too sure about him, but we'll see how he does. Uh, we have Romeo, Redmond, Nathan Redmond as well. Uh, we also have Musa Gineppo, who I think could be really good on the wing as a backup. We have James Ward-Prowse, who, by the way, his his free kicks in this game, what in real life as well, they are just genuinely spectacular. We also have Stuart Armstrong, who is a good player. Um, is a right is a right mid, but can play at striker. You have Nathan Teller as well in here. We have Theo Walcott. Who I think him and Mina Minamino, I will like make their loans permanent off camera. So if you're wondering, off of Femi as well. There uh, we've got Shane Long on loan at Bournemouth. Disappointed from him. Got Shay Adams, who I hope is going to be a top player for us in the start of the season. And we have the legend, the myth. Danny Ings, the guy that's literally going to carry this team probably. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure, but more, most than likely, this guy is going to absolutely carry this team. Uh, we'll have to see what we can do. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to switch the. Okay, let's do that. So they're losing no overalls whatsoever, and uh, I've got some signings in mind. Uh, I've got. A player called Hermoso. He's from Atletico Madrid, um, and I think he'd be a good addition to the side. His name is Mario Hermoso. Um, I think he'll be a good player to sign. He's Atletico Madrid backup, I believe, but I think he's 82 rated, which will be good for for this career mode. So let's go on approach to buy. I don't want to play the release course because that is a lot of money I'm going to get for cheaper. So let's go into negotiations with Atletico Madrid for um, Mario Hermoso, of course. Okay, so we're going to go on transfer fee. And I'm going to put it at, to start, 40 million. I think that will be a good starting price for Hermoso. He is a top class player. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me just uh, remove the selling clause and submit the offer, and I'm okay with that. Let's go. We got him for cheap. We got Mario Hermoso for cheap. £42,700,000. That is cheap for Mario Hermoso. That is really, really cheap. Let's go on negotiate and uh, see what his wage could be. Uh, he's going to be crucial at Southampton, of course. Um, we're gonna have to put him on a four year contract. Yep, that's good with him. Uh, no release clause, that's perfect. Uh, and 
that would be quite good actually let's remove the appearance bonus and accept and he wants to pay more thousand but i think i can accept that i think he's ta taken a wage cut from his original wage and we've signed mario hermoso for southampton a big drop but um he genuinely is one of those players you want that your squad to be solid um so let's put in hermoso and uh what is Hold on, uh, this is the right foot. Okay, so I'll change them over because of the left foot and the right foot. And I'll bring in Ben Rec on the bench. And that is that signing done. Here you go, if you want to see the sh him holding the shirt. There you go. And also, I'd like to buy a player called João Cancelo really quickly um he's at man city right now so let's try and see if we can tempt uh, pep guardiola to um sell him to us let's see uh i'm gonna start at 60 million for him uh 97 no i'll cut it down to 70 though i'll offer 20 million under what they're actually asking for but I think 70 million is way fair for Cancelo. 97, oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to go with 75 as our next price. 75, oh my god. Okay, so this is going to be cheap. I mean, this is going to be expensive. I think I'm going to go with 90. If they're really not willing to, to go with this, I might have to walk out the door. They are willing to go in 19. That is expensive for Joao. I did not expect to be spending that much money on Joao Cancelo. If I'm completely honest, I did not want to spend that much money on him. Oh, God. Okay, so he's going to be crucial. Hopefully, he pays off for the money we've got to pay for him. He's going to be crucial. He's going to be four years. I'll offer five. Um, that's good. Uh, no release clause perfect. I Genuinely, I don't ever want a release clause on my players. I just think... It's completely just dumb because like you're just gonna lose your players out of nowhere like really stupid uh 120k okay that's fine and we've just signed shell cancelo to our squad and he's now a southampton player let's have a look at the kit with him in it there you go southampton still down cancelo for 90 million pounds by the way what a sign in this man will be hopefully in the future so there you go Jao cancelo 90 million pounds for him we have had to splash out the cash for Jao cancelo but hopefully he'll be top class and worth it of course um as this progresses um also we'll have to have a look at the goalkeeper because there is one not too high rated he's still in 70 overall but he's played really well for uh, west brom i think you know what i'm thinking of is sam johnston uh i just think he's been really solid for west brom and uh, i think he'll be a good keeper he is 76 overall i've researched it so, we'll, so he is better than mccarthy he's been in he is better than fraser forster so It'll be an upgrade overall, whatever happens, it'll be an upgrade and I, I want to pay 20 million for him because he's that good, he's just he's just brilliant, he's top class, so 20 million for Sam Johnston and we'll go into negotiations with Sam and we'll see um, what we can get him for. He will be a crucial goalkeeper at Southampton because he's going to be the best one and uh, he's three years under McCarthy and five years under Fraser Forster so he's the best one at the club by far um so let's give him 100,000 wage and uh, a whopping 400,000 I'm going out for him let's go he signed with the club I know you guys are going you so overpaid for Sam, Sam Johnson but with all good I think he's going to play with us I really don't care we've got to give us uh, a bit more money than that definitely yeah there you go and um I think I'm going to leave with three signings until January. I don't think I want any more. Um, no, I really don't think I want any more, to be honest. If I have to be honest, I don't really want any more signings. I want to keep it as realistic as possible, but obviously not too realistic. So 
only a couple signings making into this. Um, we'll have a look at Sam Johnson signing the contract there with Southampton as he's and he's confirmed it. And we're going to go into training now with Southampton. So our first training tour with the club. Let's see how we do. And um, of course, from now on, I'll do the training off camera as much as possible um i'll try and like do training uh, before the video but we're gonna have to do training like in between games so i'll try and do as much training as i can uh, just to get it finished here comes minamino the threaten he's just so good minamino though genuinely like every time i use him he either thrashes me on defensive um training or re does really well on the attacking ones like he's really good i think ea i'm sorry minamino in real life but you've made him too good ea i don't want to say he's a bad player in real life but ever since he's moved to southampton he hasn't been a star and all i'm gonna say is yeah you've made him a bit too good um unfortunately a bit too good from what he actually is I d i'm sorry i have to say that but it's true. They really have made him really good. Uh, a bit too good for I forget anyone's liking. Like if you're playing against him, he's a bit too good than he actually is in real life. So unfortunately, I think he needs the drop to like 73 rated. I don't think he's that 76 rated star that the lower clubs all want. To be honest, if I'm on, if I'm honest, in real life, he has been not the greatest has he recently for Southampton he's been all right but has he actually scored a goal for them that's a question I'm not too sure but I'm pretty sure that's no uh, unfortunately so yeah we'll take the A we'll move on from that we did really bad but somehow we got an A that's really weird um <laughs> so yeah that's that's really weird um Here we go then, let's do this hot potato training. Armstrong will finish that and uh, we'll get 7,000 points off that first one. That's big. Good. Uh, That's good. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. We were 800 away from getting a my horse. That's tormenting me. That is. Let's carry on uh, with the training, though. Oh God! Oh God! No, it's defensive. It's defensive. Good save from Johnston. Brilliant save there from Sam Johnston in the the Southampton. I was about to say West Brom goal in the Southampton goal. Um, just so weird seeming in in a different club from West Brom really because uh, you didn't really see him shine at like Man United and Aston Villa did you? Okay he got re decent game time at Aston Villa but Man you, you did not say the team on the pitch I don't think he played one game I think he played one game in a cup or something maybe apart from that Sam Johnson rest in peace at Man U it just hasn't worked for him oh god because he got called up for the England Euro squad and that's massive Congrats to Sam for doing that. And benching Pope. Benching Nick Pope. He benched Nick Pope. That's my, like... He benched Nick Pope to get in the English squad. Now that is big. Like, you'd think Nick Pope's the top of England. Well, well classed as Jordan Pickford, but... They say it's Jordan Pickford, but I believe it's, um... It's not, but, uh... I think it's Nick Pope. Genuinely, or Dean Anderson or something. I'd... I mean, he's a good keeper, Pickford, but he's a bit. He's been the top for ages, and I just don't think he's the actual best anymore. Um. Anyway, let's get into this. The, the next training drill is called Collect the Trophies. Why is it called Collect the Trophy? Well, I guess we've got to like run to the the trophy, like football thing. 
It's for kind of weird name, isn't it? Click the trophies. I'd call it like I don't. I don't actually know what I'd call it. Yeah, I've just made a name, haven't they? I don't even know. Let's go, we got an A on that one. Next one's called the Interceptor. See how we do on this. You know the training I really hate? It's like the one where like all the players run around the circle and you've got to try and cross it into them. For some reason it always says like out of bounds when I'm literally get I'm on the line. I'm standing on the line, ready to defend. In A on the line. Right, good. Good, 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 good. Good from Vesta God. Where are you? See, it's not on the line. That's what I don't get. Bush! That one was on the line, of course, because I'm not playing everything. Oh, come on, it's not on the line. Is it? Come on. Oh, are you joking? What? Excuse? What? Eh. I'm not trying to be mean or something, but what was that? Maybe this is my new hateful one. Oh my god, guys, I'm really raging on this. <laughs> this one's really annoying. Oh my gosh, guys. What? I, I was going to say, I don't get the points for that. Oh my god, how did they make me then? Did they say. Why is it not on the line? I get really annoyed that it's not on the line. What? Uh. Oh, Come on. And then when I move, it's on the line, isn't it? Let's go. I think that was handball, but this is really annoying. I'm just going to get this one over. I can't, I can't even deal with it. I can't even get more than that, to be honest. That is a really annoying training drill to play. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, it's not gonna end. I thought it, I thought it ended like when um... Right, we got our first game against Fernabarche in this game. In this one, um, let's see if we can get the win. We're going full out. This is our first game of the season. Full out, full start in eleven to give our players some warm up for the actual season. So let's get this first game done and dusted and then after this game i think i'll end the episode there and we'll go into episode two with much more games to come and yeah oh 
Oh, what a goal there from Gianepo. Oh, I told you he's going to be a threat. I told you he's going to be, he's going to be a threat. He is going to be very, very good. Let's just get into the match. Let's well, get it into this here. match. As, uh, it's, um, and we're about to see his debut. Will he hit the ground running? Well, that's a glorious day for football here in Dortmund. Here we go, so... I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon. Southampton versus Fernabache. Uh, oh, here we go, here comes Stuart Armstrong. Oh my God, it's 1-0 already. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Hold on, I think I'm going to turn off the music for the... Well, the... Hit that hard. Wait, hold on. Sorry about this. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that one, guys. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so? Yeah. Are you ready for bed, please? Yeah. So getting ready for bed, brush your teeth and whatever. It's ten o'clock. So I'm still at work, sir. What's the matter? Oh. What's the matter? It's Tell a video. Me. Are you making one still? Yeah. Okay. Pause. Got your board? No. Well, you can't play that. Okay, sorry about that one, guys. That was my dad. Anyway, back with this game. Southampton 1, Fernabache 0. Um, we got an easy, easy opener goal there. And, uh... See what we... Can do on Fernabache really got a chance there, but a strong tackle there by the defender as we get it away. Oh, headed, headed, headed. Oh, Sam Johnston with a good save there from for Southampton, and uh, we stay in the lead 1 0. Shinepo. Why is Shinepo playing? I've just realised. Hold on. Sorry about that one. Jennifer's not meant to be playing. Well, I'll just give him these game because like, I can't really just bring them up already. Um, but chance miss from Jennifer there. Uh, here comes Luis Gustavo here for Fernabache as Valencia breaks through, and it's a brilliant save there from Sam Johnson. Even though I don't really know why he didn't catch it, but he just kind of. Anyway, it's a good save. Here comes Gianepo. Can you get round the goalkeeper? No, he can't. As Tisserard goal kicks it away. Gianepo. Down to Danny Ings. Can't quite get there. Romayu. <laughs> the Ward Prowse. Back to Danny Ings. Danny Ings to curl it. And a good save there from the Fernabache goalkeeper to deny us. Uh, an open chance. Oh, to, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's it's paid off. It's back to Stuart Armstrong. It's back to Gineppo. Gineppo trying to get ground, but he can't do much too far. And on the on the break, here comes Masuto Zil. Here for Fernabache, and uh, away from Southampton. A good. Good tackle in there from Fernabarcho to get it rid of me. As they are on the counter attack 
play again. Here comes Gonal attacking my defence, but I thought it was offside, and they have called the offside flag against that piece of play. But here comes Shinepo offside just a little bit. Uh, here comes Luis Gustavo, too fan running at the ball as I'm trying to tackle it off him and it's offside flag again for the first for the third time in like a minute or something. Uh, here comes uh, Shea Adams to Shinepo. Back to Shea Adams. Oh Shea tried to find Danny Ings there, can't do so. We got the opener in the second minute, and since then, really, we haven't had many chances in the box. I don't think we've actually had one major chance in the box. But here comes Shea Adams, and that could be 2-0. And it is 2-0. It's Shea Adams, and it's 2-0 to Southampton. It's terrible, 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 terrible from Fernabache. And Shea Adams just split him open, and Shea Adams puts it in the back of the net. Southampton 2, Fernabache 0, and uh, we get to a good start in the international, um, European International Cup here in the pre-season. We get a good start at our time. I'm pretty sure it's going to flow through unless we get something now. Danny Ings, oh, Shea Adams. Can they find something here? Not quite. But uh, here comes Vestergaard. Vestergaard, to us it? Vestergaard trying to keep up ground and he just takes that away cheapishly and a bad pass but Bertrand will collect that one on the left. Back to Vestergaard. Pressing up the pitch for uh, James Ward-Prowse but it's found its way across to Danny Ings and Danny Ings shoots and it's 3-0 before half time and, South, and Danny Ings gets his first goal of the season at... In, in a Southampton shirt, brilliant there from Danny Ings as he brings it onto his left foot and shoots and scores. With his weak fo weaker foot as well, I'm pretty sure, he scores a banging goal into the back of the net and it's Southampton 3, Fernabarche 0. As we press into the second half, I'm going to try and get a fourth, but I don't think so. I think it's, this is going to throw through to the second half 3 0. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, it, it will. And it's half time. It's Southampton 3, Fernabarche 0. Um, we're actually playing against a uh, former Arsenal player, Masuto Zil, because this is the team he went to. And we're facing them in the Signal Under Park. And we are threatening them, really, 3 0. Um, we're battering them like a bunch of chips, 3-0, um, which is quite, quite brilliant, really. Oh, here comes Danny Ings, oh my god, what a pass there from Stuart Armstrong, but which has found Shea Adams, Shea Adams pulls it back to Danny Ings, and it's 4-0, Danny Ings' is brace, it's brilliant play, play from Southampton, and he found Shea Adams, Shea Adams brought it back, and the first time, oh my god, what a goal from Danny Ings. He's just, he's just let himself go, curled that one, and it's gone very close to the top corner. It's 4-0 to Southampton against Fernabache. And I think this game will be done and over now with that goal. Here comes Luis Gustavo. Caduli on the ball now. Masuto Zil attacking for Fernabache. Too far on. Shinepo trying to catch ground. But here comes Fernabache. Brilliant deflection. I mean, interception from Romayu. And here comes Valencia. Valencia attack. Valencia attacks the ball. And it's a terrible shot there from Luis Gustavo. Um, I don't know what he was doing there. Vestergaard puts it to Hamaso. To Romayu. Romayu to Adams, Adams to Ings. Here comes Danny Ings. Danny Ings trying to find that little, little hope of uh, threading through Shea Adams. But here comes Luis Gustavo on the counter attack for Fernabarche. But it's brilliant from Southampton as they 
as they go again, and he try and Danny Ings tries to th thread through the pass to um, Shea Adams, of course, but can't do so. Uh, Danny Ings, uh, we got uh, Shea Adams attacking through to Danny Ings. Danny Ings attacking through his hat trick and can't quite get past Aziz and denied his wonderful three there, Danny Ings. But here comes Fernabarche on the counter attack. Southampton men getting back here. As they try to find ground, it's a brilliant tackle there from Vestergaard as they get it away. And here comes Danny Ings, who knows he got his hat trick on the line but loses the ball back. And here comes Fernabarche, Mesutazil to Kalaguglu. And it's, a, and it's a brilliant shot, and it's a brilliant save from Sam Johnston, and Danny Ings is running, Danny Ings is going, he wants his hat-trick, he wants his hat-trick. Here comes Danny Ings, gets fouled, get, still gets the ball, that's how greedy this man is for his hat-trick, he gets it back. Danny Ings shoots, saved, can Stuart Armstrong get there, not quite. Stuart Armstrong can't quite can't get there. Um, unfortunately, he puts it to Shay Adams. Danny Ings, Danny Ings, Danny Ings, Danny Ings takes takes the defender from Fernabarche out, and no foul because he got straight back up. But that was not a very good challenge there from uh, Danny Ings. In the middle for Ward Prowse. And it's a terrible pass as Fernabarche try to press up the field here. Luis Gustavo presses up for Ka Kaveki to Oseo Samuel. Back to Luis Gustavo. Romayu trying to get back the ball. Sosa attacking now. James Wood Prowse misses the opportunity. And Armstrong gets it away. Danny Ings puts it to Stuart Armstrong. Just outside the area, and it will be a throw in for Fernabarche. Da Danny Ings has like three minutes plus stoppage time to get his hat trick. But here comes Danny Ings now. Danny Ings attacking the Fernabarche defence to, to get his first hat trick in two years. Here comes Danny Ings. Fernabarche defence pressing low. And it's brilliant from Fernabarche, and that's the full-time whistle. Southampton 4, Fernabarche 0 in the European International Cup. And we get our first dub of the series in our first game of this series. Let's advance. Let's get this over with. And um, that was quite a game. Right. I think I'm going to end it there, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow as we play Montpellier and probably two more games to finish off and go into our third game third video of the episode in the final of the preseason tournament but till then i'll see you guys all next time